the software should have been able to read the minds of people who is using it now how we lose it that is becoming and this is nothing but uh, if we could perhaps put that software or mechanism into that software in bit design then we say that we have put uh, we are given important artificial intelligence to that particular powerpoint presentation and this was my uh, introduction so in the agenda what i have planned today the introduction i have completed through this title slide so that you give the basic idea i can give the basic idea of what artificial intelligence is all about now let us go uh, let us go out of the introduction let us come to uh, the technical part one by one i understand that many people are uh, totally uh, uh, i mean layman in the, the uh, computer science or engineering uh, i have prepared uh, a, a something like that that uh, it is for everybody but those who are technically little bit sound or aware of that they also may have some questions so i request everybody right from the introduction that whenever you have some problem uh, or you have some uh, query uh, immediately you note down this slide number and after all you cite this slide number so can i can go to that slide and answer you i all slide sub number all are numbered number 1 number 2 during presentation maybe some terminologies may not be uh, and uh, you are not aware of the terminology you note that also too yeah. and at the end i'll be or during that also sometimes if necessary i can explain those terminology uh, that that terminology include plain english word suppose there is some english word in my uh, slides i have used some english word which may not be known to you in that case they know so you are ask uh, me and with it my capability i will try to answer as far as possible in hindi or in english sometimes it needed i can try my uh, i mean <laughs> quality of hindi anupam is experienced with that uh, uh, anyway so with this uh, i let me start the main uh, as anupam started saying that what is artificial what is intelligence exactly and uh, that was my first point to say that artificial is something which is not uh, which has not occurred naturally it is man made you remember in your uh, basic science classes what are maybe your background but you have done through the basic science class till 10th standard you have that the mechanical effort was uh, reduced to using lever and lever means one uh, effort one uh, force and one fulcrum and position of the fulcrum used to define with the class 1 lever or class 2 lever or class 3 lever so that was the basic and then came wheel the great invention wheel was a great invention which replaced muscle power with the machine now in this topic we are talking about not the muscle power because we have enough progress in replacing muscle power anything you can do Uh, with the help of machines, without the help of muscles, but can we replace our brain power by the machines? That is the question. We have succeeded for long replacing our muscle power with levers, wheels, and all machinery developed. But human brain, that is difficult to replace because it is very very complex, very very difficult to complex uh, study. so artificial intelligence had made this extraordinary progress in doing this that since few decades maybe since 40s it has started now let us call two fathers or remember two fathers one is alan turing and john mccarthy during is known as the father one of uh, uh, until years people has uh, see there are many things now it looks very easy because for example the newtons falling apple it is so easy people are talking what is that we have to take experience that falling but that time when that first question came to mind that was very important which we cannot realize same thing that that uh, the concept of machine intelligence came into the mind of turing and what he did 
he made one Turing machine. What the Turing machine is that? He put chambers. One chamber, he put one uh, human being, a person. And he was asking a model, uh, can you produce sound, uh, I mean, reproduce sound like recording, recording, which is equivalent to that uh, original sound of the person. How to do that? In one chamber, he used to put a, he asked to a person to stand, and in another chamber, uh, the machine would be there. I mean, whatever talking machine. Now the third person, I mean second person, who is the referee, he cannot see both, and he is unaware in which chamber the person is there and which chamber machine is there. He will asked to distinguish the two sounds. One will be spoken by the machine, one will be spoken by the human being. If he fails to distinguish the two, then he told that whatever you have developed, that has intelligence, that is an intelligent machine. But till you can recognize that, no, 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 this, from this child, if somebody's man is there behind, then he, he could not make any intelligent machine. That's the first thing. So that was a turning point of concept of machine becoming intelligent. But no terminology of artificial intelligence was there. That artificial intelligence term was coined by the second father in 1956, McCarthy, John McCarthy. He had a lot of contribution in fact in the, in the initial stages. And he defined the artificial intelligence and his definition is uh, there. I, I can read it out, you can also read. The study of AI is to proceed on the basis of conjecture that every aspect of learning of or any other features of intelligence can in principle be so precisely described that machine can be made to simulate it. It means basis of conjecture. Conjecture means this English word, are you aware of this conjecture? Uh, this conjecture, conjecture means something like hypothesis. That means you cannot prove something, but you know it is true. <laughs> if, you, if you ask something that, uh, uh, that uh, moon is uh, nearer to sun, you cannot prove it. You know it, but you cannot prove it. But because of your everyday experience says uh, like that. So that is a conjecture. So, so AI was based on, without proof, he was able to make some hypothesis that it is possible that to convert the intelligence, to import the intelligence of human being into machine. You can build a machine, he first proposed that. So this is a matter. Now I will not waste time in reading also because my idea of this is that since 1943, the invention of artificial neuron, the neuron was first model in 1943, continuously developments are going on on AI in some form or other, even without knowing that it is a part of artificial intelligence. Sometimes continuously develop. Some paper research, later on it was found that yes, it is a part of artificial intelligence on machine time, something. So continuously, I have given a list some. Maybe missing, maybe hundreds of researches, uh, important developments missing. I have also not given 2015 because I have to search the latest thing. I have to get confirmation from the net, uh, which I could not get time. Anyway, this gives the idea that how it is a continuous process of development. Now, formally, how I can define AI? AI uh, is, a, uh, is an intelligent exhibited by computer science. The field of AI research defines itself as a study. This is the definition given in Wikipedia. Gartner is another authority. They have defined in a little bit different way that it is a technology that appears to emulate human performance, typically by learning, coming to its own conclusions, appearing to understand complex content, engaging in natural dialogues with people. And the capacity of a functional unit to perform functions that are generally associated with human intelligence, such as reasoning and learning, is a definition by International Standard Organization (ISO), the Electrotechnical Commission. They have defined like this. So three tolerances are defined differently, and so that you get the essence of. It. You can make your own definition for AI. No problem. Now, philosophy of AI. The philosophy is that 
whatever that record is told, the same thing is reflected in the way. So if you can program appropriately with giving proper and right inputs, expecting right output, then exactly whatever senses we have as a human being would be emulated through machines. This is one hypothesis. Second is that the artificial brain argument, which is technologically, the brain can be simulated. It can simulate the brain with programming. So therefore, once this, based on these philosophies, we can initiate the study of human intelligence with no formal expression and consider mind with the internal operations as a machine. We consider mind as a machine and we just try to make a prototype of that. The foundation of AI is definitely mathematics, a lot of mathematics is there, like computation, logic analysis, the probability. Then uh, the probability contributes the degree of belief uh, to handle uncertainty in artificial intelligence. Then decision theory combines probability theory and UTT theory is the bias. This bias will come across and the uh, degree of belief also will be coming across later on. Then psychology, and uh, some of you told about psychology in the beginning. Yes, it comes out of psychology, it comes out of emotions, it comes out of human feelings, everything. Because how we think, it is a psychological question. My thinking is not a mathematics, that two plus two is to four, so this plus this, my thinking will like this, not that. It depends it is a biologically to so neurons we are thinking and uh, uh, how do we think this is psychological I mean uh, uh, domain then study of human reasoning and acting provides reasoning models for artificial intelligence and humans and other animals as information processing machines we have to consider like this anything has some intelligence there's a human being otherwise we are seeing the birds how they're making nest without it, how can do that? Similarly, if you take up case of any animal, they all have intelligence. Maybe uh, intelligence, maybe for a human being is a little bit higher. Then you need computer engineering for the hardware part. You have to build the hardware, so you need the computer engineering to study. Then the systems to act like humans, you need natural language processing. When you talk, someone is talking about whatever you feel we're talking, immediately it catches. How it caught? You are talking, oh no, that when you were talking, some, some, somebody picked up and based on that, my talking something has come, which is my is. So natural language processing is very important in system uh, to be part of AI. The knowledge representation to store our information effectively and efficiently, we need knowledge to be properly represented. Then reasoning part, we do reasoning ourselves, but it should be made automatic for machine intelligence. And machine learning to adapt new circumstances. Machine learn from the purpose. And Turing test includes two more issues. One is computer vision, robotics. Vision means to perceive objects that see objects. And robotics, with the help of robotics, what it can do? We can enable some object to do some work, acting, act on something. So these are the systems we require and how we represent knowledge and reasoning. We represent, we have a lot of questions I have marked. How we describe the knowledge about the world? How do we describe it concisely? How do we describe it? so that it can hold the right piece of knowledge when you need it, how generate new pieces of knowledge and how deal with the uncertain knowledge, et cetera. So knowledge could be divided into parts. One is declarative, one is procedural. This is important when you talk about the languages, subtra languages, then this knowledge represents, it is one is declarative best, one is predictive best, or procedural best. Um, the declarative knowledge deals with the factoid questions like what is the capital of India? And procedural knowledge deals with how that how it can be done. And within that, it is the declarative is already embedded. 
Now, learning through experience is very important factor for AI. A system is to act exactly and appropriately, and it must be tunable to the change of its action based on experience. So, uh, in the first slide, uh, in, the, in the phases, I have changed my mind. Okay, I have put a blue color, and after that, I find that no, my choice was no, not correct. I have to make it a contrast, I have to put a light color. So dynamically, my thought was changed. That should be done by depicted by machine it's also. They should also generate new facts from the old and generate new concepts needed and learn to distinguish various situations and the current environment. And interaction with the environment to enable intelligent behavior, properly intelligent system and expected to accept sensory input like vision, sound, if you are intelligent, you must be able to accept that two sensors list, like vision sound. And interact with humans, understand language, recognize speech, general text, speech, and graphics. I will give, give an example. Nowadays in China, uh, it is there. When there is an international conference, the Chinese people are allowed to speak in Chinese only. They prepare slides. But instantly, in the same hall, automatically he speaks Chinese, but in the earphone of this foreigner, he automatically gets translated in English, and the board also gets translated in English. Instantly, speaking and getting. So that type of interaction, understanding language is very important for AI. Then modify the environment, use robotics which you will be able to act on the environment. Now, what is, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the intelligence, but how to model intelligence? What do we have in your brain? What type of intelligence we have? What is, what is the hardware present in your brain? We have one trillion neurons within our brain. One trillion is 10 to the power 12. One lakh crore. One trillion is one lakh crore. One crore, two crore, you can imagine. One lakh crore can imagine. So many neurons are there, they are making all feelings. When you talk about creating that artificially, how much, how enormous data power, how, how enormous data, uh, I mean, the, uh, processing is required, is beyond imagination. That itself is the imagination. And the, the neurons are like nodes. There are some things from, through study of ideas that enable computers to become intelligent. That is the definition. Then, therefore, AI has two major roles. First, to study the intelligent part concerned with humans to understand the principle of human intelligence on what principle my intelligence I am exhibiting, that has to be studied. Second is that after studying, you have to represent those actions using computers and let them take over the dangerous or any tedious job. For example, that uh, with the help of robot, we are uh, doing the welding of the modern vehicles, very difficult, the footage there, the temper. We are using that already, that intelligence. Anything which is tedious or dangerous, we use the machines to do that. But many a times that machine is required intelligence. We we'll put that artificially so they can do the substitute man. So main functions of AI is to start. And one thing I have not told, the initialization of artificial came to games, like chess, playing, etc. So many a times AI was sometimes synonymous with uh, uh, games. Uh, so, search in game playing, then representing knowledge and reasoning with it, that knowledge, that design for knowledge based agent. It requires planning, learning, learning means I mentioned about what is learning. Then, natural language processing, NLP, expert system, we need. I'll talk more about expert system, which will mimic the behavior of human expertise. We'll copy my, our expertise into and put it in the machine. That is the expert system. 
and interacting with the environment means how we interact with the environment we see we hear listen so ear uh, our mouth ear um, uh, no uh, not nose right now future to nose as well uh, and eyes these are the our external links for understanding the environment so you have to interact with the environment is it so industry assembly robots are used to control environment it can perform only program task now expert system that i am talking about key functions uh, you those who are in computer science they are ever but those who are not for them just it is enough to know that it is copying the human expertise and trying to put in the machine that's all what it is what the experts are supposed to do in a particular domain it is doing that and using the knowledge base uh, based on the intelligent behavior of human to solve complex problems and it is commonly used in uh, medical diagnosis and uh, chemical processes uh, then ge geology exploration etc all this then comes speech recognition the primary interactive method of communication used by human speech which allows computers to understand human speech that can hear our voices and recognize whether it's my voice or anupam's voice or your voice and natural language processing as i mentioned is a giving the example of chinese and this is a requirement of ai and you come the picture of ai Uh, you know that uh, machine learning, natural language processing, speech, expert system, planning schedule, optimization, robotic vision—all are things. And there are subfields. Machine learning has subfields like deep learning, predictive analysis, and NLP has subfields like uh, language translation, uh, classification, and clustering of data you know, from the language, then extraction of information, and speech also. Speech conversion text or text conversion piece both. And vision is image recognition and machine recognition both. So these are the things. Now this slide I have prepared to give you the actual idea because you have lot of confusion uh, between the artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, etc. Representation learning, perhaps you have not heard about. Uh, this I have intentionally added to give you, uh, I mean, better. Uh, the artificial intelligence is a general thing that means what intelligence we feel we write a program for the computer to do that if you see a green color do this if you see a red color do this if you think color you do this but sometimes we are confused in between some color is not given There are maybe two fifty six colors combination, or two fifty four four color part combo, whatever maybe combination. So all may not be able. I think I have this. 
for the severe depression, sampling, asset properties, in the counter, and there may be a good issues to be made. Example is the condition that the Amazon Salad Star to high on city, it is between all the other schools. So, what I do, same thing again, that in artificial intelligence, uh, Functional blocks. That is a level that is very important. Machine algorithms. Two level data makes different algorithms and we put some client models and information based on the data. And the data is passing the model. If it is passed, the condition is correct. It is Then machine learning types, one is supervised type of learning. That is, it uses the training data sets in the algorithm is correct, classifying them, or predicting outcomes accurately to the equation of 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 We know here, so uh, it is not reinforced, so there is a doubt of the learning. So, the three types of learning basically is a visual procedure like classification, regression, clustering, association, dimensional reduction. These are the basic things I have given in the uh, slides. If somebody is interested, then I can discuss. Uh, just tell the different to slide number 26, I'll refer to this. Now, the simple way of uh, visual representation of the learning procedure, like uh, classification is that you have a text, whatever data is coming, you put them in a class A, class B, class C line. And this is for, for uh, supervised learning. And unsupervised learning, you make class learning. Based on what pattern is emerging, you put in that particular pattern. So, you put that class term. It is from text, it is from wiki, a regression which is also used in this uh, 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 your supervised learning is analysis which uh, line fits maximum what to this data to make a model of the regression. Uh, and anomaly detection in the unsupervised line, if some anomaly in that pattern is there, it will detect and put that data out of that cluster. It is not uh, within that cluster, so anomaly. Yeah. 
So representation learning, this is another way of learning. Uh, as I mentioned, that uh, this is the foundation of beginning of the uh, deep learning. And unless you are able to represent the data properly in some faster, discover them, then it is very difficult to get the accuracy and very difficult to make the automatic program. So representation learning is nothing but that data is put into a proper format, representable format. And in a, in a cluster, this cluster will be distinctly distinct. For example, any photographs, I will talk more about representation learning when in talking about this. The quest of AI is motivating the design of more powerful representation learning algorithms, implementing the generic tasks, which is nothing but the, it was very important in search and optimization. And prior refers to information about the problems available in addition to training data. After training, if you have any problem, the prior solves that. And deep learning is but one of the many ways to learn representations. And depth in deep learning is one of the many factors to learn a good representation, even though it is an important one. It will be more clarified when I talk about the layering in deep, deep learning. So now, no, 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 the no, 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 but we can apply, we can, we can apply, we can apply because sometimes that uh, thumb implant, face recognition, etc. then at the moment we put, that time we put pressure in the in some modern SBI has started initiating this. Uh, so uh, that is a part. This is not a, a full a part of the definition. Plus, uh, your mobile OTP based also they have started. They will make their own program. Then all machine learning. In normal artificial, I make the program for the computer and. Uh, for machine language, computer will create the program on my behalf. Yeah. And we need proper data for creating. If I miss data, then cannot do. Like I talked about the humidity in the cricket match. I missed that, so could not do that. So AI technology is, as I mentioned, I mean, the difference between these two I have Said earlier, still I'm repeating that that we can uh, human thinking capability, intelligence, and behavior is AI, whereas machine learning is the application of subset of AI that enables machines to learn from the past data and experience without being program experience. The programmer has no role to program for machine learning. Machine itself do the programming job. Now, AI with ML uses two data sets. One is training data and test data. Many times you may be uh, having confusion between these two. Training data means initially, when you put something, I'll give, give you an example more with that, that you have to train that what are the parameters. Suppose I want to, want to recognize a cat. How you recognize a cat? I must give the parameters. In, in machine language, what are the parameters I'll give? I, I'll give the approximate weight, skin, color, nose, this other thing, I'll put that. In deep learning, what I'll give? I'll just give a picture of the cat, nothing. Any picture? I, I have a picture, nothing. All possible pictures. Are. I need not do anything. And this data is that once I put it, whether it's passed the examination or not. I have trained the machine to do the program, but whether the program is rightly giving an output or not, that's the question mark. What you good? I put some, suppose without telling, I put the picture of a cat and see whether it is perfectly recognized a cat or it's face dog. So with the test data, when it passes, pass the examination, we say it is okay. So two uh, data sets, 
the training data sets and test data sets. Now coming to the <laughs> crucial part, human brain. First of all, uh, let me take the apology because I am not a biology student. I have very little, even maybe that uh, less, lesser knowledge than many of you who are studying biology. Uh, so I just uh, taken from internet this brain part, but only what I have taken is what is my requirement to make you understand the concept of AI, machine learning, particularly neural network. The brain is like this, entire brain. Now brain has, I told that, one trillion neurons within this, one trillion neurons and hundred trillion uh, links to connect those nodes. Now the yeah, thing. Is, that I don't know because uh, that uh, see I'm telling you I'm clearly making you. Suppose here it is retina. Retina. Retina is connected to many neurons to give the information based to the each brain, dental processing. Now, whether this link, this person, these neurons, these are activated when you are seeing that your something is now your spinal cord is here to see the movement. Is it so that when you see that you don't feel any pain in the spinal cord? If it is so, then it's not active. Whatever you are able to sense, that means it's not active. If you cannot sense anything, that means it is not active at that time. So, see, all links are so. Uh, so, the there is one thing is sure that this lower part is basically interacting with the external world, lower part. And the neurons are connected, and these are the strength of the, uh, the strength of the connections represent the long term knowledge. If the strength is more, the knowledge will live in. Now, this is a photo of single neutron. In previously, this was the picture of the entire brain containing one trillion neurons. This is a single neuron network. And what happens? The dendrites, which you know, render to use for gum. No? Basically, dendrites will input to the neurons. Yes. They receive signals from other cells. And the output is this long, these dendrites are this, all are dendrites. This is dendrite, this is dendrite. One of the dendrite like links is known as axon, which is out. It is long and there's a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, upsets, uh, various cells, uh, like swan cells, little cells. Which are, uh, I mean, reinforcing its uh, stay in the sector like this. And they are processing, they're actually processing the entire output. How this uh, processing is done through the axon terminal. This terminal is connected to uh, this uh, other uh, cells. The thing is that here lies this. This is the input, this is the gate. In this gate, there is a processing unit biologically which can be modeled with this. That means various signals are coming with various weightages. X1 with W1 weightage, X2 with W weightage. They are the synapses are the links. They, through the synapses, it is coming to the actuation, activation function, the air, air activation function. Activation function, this is model and with this equation, we are able to do the neural network. These are the few things I'll talk about it. One is the input signal, X1, and its weight, and B for biasness, how much bias I would be for that, and what is biasness, in, if it's possible, I'll let. And we'll have a function like this, function of all uh, multiplied weight into that uh, signal plus bias, and I'll get the output for Submit to the uh, for submitting to the next cell. Uh, wait, uh, for example, uh, suppose one link actually it will uh, question and session. I don't know how long it will take, but it's a good question. 
uh, what the word suppose uh, uh, very simple example i am uh, passing through road main road okay now i have my eyes cortex is connected there what i can see i can see a bus is coming i can see a truck is coming opposite direction i can see one person is walking he is also coming i can see a dog is coming all are coming my sense is it to protect me if there is any danger now who should be giving getting more weight is the truck is coming in front of me or if man is coming but that is what it when i see both because neurons are through their picture are coming to both so brain to vision which has to be given more weight which is more dangerous which is more making your active activation cell will give some people so this is one way that will be weighted will be different for a, uh, a passer by Uh, what is for uh, different for a running train or any I mean, any vehicle heavy vehicle or any beast coming or snake coming many things coming this is an example this is not practical just i'm giving this that the similar example similarly the weightage is given during the process how much weightage i should show through that signal it is a that w x y x y the signal how much what weightage i should give to that particular signal is there a garam kar ke dena se bhi karta hai this is not uh, that is the difference that is not this stage this is a neural network definitely because my experience says that if dog comes then i may not have that much but if train comes this comes from previous experience either by reading or by seeing or my own experience definitely all are all are basically from learning learning cycle is there so to learning cycle i have learned maybe that could be through visual learning or to hearing learning or for reading learning something but afterwards we learn definitely so for past experience right So this thing, the same thing, we are making neural network. This is a basic neural network which has been prototyped by getting inspiration from our brain neuron. This is a copy model of the neuron in neural network. We put some input x1 to x10, and we put some variable voltages, and the transfer function. which is a function of bus plus sum of all the inputs which multiplied by weight and there is a threshold that if it is you know the danger danger level then i will do the reaction otherwise i'll just keep on seeing this machine that is that is guiding the voltage no 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 it is very complex it is not that easy Based on the experience, which is more harmful, that can be what is used. But that may change also in future. Suppose I have highest give the priority I have given for a truck. But suppose a a a a a mad elephant comes. It is not in the ground. Truck there is a brake, but mad elephant has no brake. So the new will learn no. you cannot give the maximum weight to that so yes yes so that all coming uh, now comes artificial neural network this is nothing but a framework of enabling predictions to be made in machine learning that predictions we are making that will enable and powered by neuroscience in computer model apply neuroscience while i am very much lacking i don't i know it only and i am not a student of biology so i have lack of knowledge in that the system may function similarly close to human brain and uh, form with the connected neurons like real brain it is capable of carrying out data related tasks such as recognize or discover something find similarities and dissimilarities answer to the questions 
about the relationships between two entities and neurons pass on the results of his work to a neighboring neuron through their actions for further processing and adapting based on data or efficiently deal with the next bit of data it comes across and it can be thought of learning in much the same way our brains do like we learn artificially it also learns now comes the concept of deep learning the deep learning uh, i was talking uh, giving the example of the humidity factor in chicken mud like the many factors now in uh, machine learning we have one input and output is a program but in deep learning we have multiple layers interconnected full integrated layers what the layers are supposed to do it will find what are the entities for which we can identify it. suppose a, a, an indian man indian man his complexion his or her complexion could be uh, uh, not that white not that black something between a chinese we can compute the complexion plus eyebrow the height of the nose like this okay now these small things may be overlooked by the programmer so when you give the input so a photographer a chinese person indian person or western person then deep learning will automatically put some hidden layers or some hidden layers to identify that particular only knows that it is one layer will be only for nose identification one layer will be only for color identification one i will be the complexion one we hear more and more layer more and more accurate you you get it more precise it will be so instead of doing any programming deep learning we simply give the past photograph past video as the input let the computer do its job putting as many layers required to distinguish that perfectly and after the training data uh, given and it gets get the pass marks and give the accurate and it accuracy is infinite hmm. no 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 that weightage is there no that 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 part that is actually study of what i that part i have not touched that is a part of algorithm when there is a yes there will be a contradiction how to handle that for that you have to learn the programming part that is beyond the scope of this lecture that is under professional that ai that when you talk about the machine tool each tool handles separately that situation hmm i will come into that so one thing input and output are only one i mean uh, the one input or one to six these are hidden nobody can see and it is produced by the deep learning algorithm okay and it takes decision it this takes some decision this layer takes decision all layers take some decision and put in the final now finally uh, it when it process it takes which information is required or okay more yeah, not exactly neurons yeah, more or more number of identification marks yeah. and neurons will pass through that actually this i am telling you these are the all neurons these are all neurons this is one neuron this is one neuron this is one like this all nodes are neurons yeah, yeah. all are neurons all are neurons yes yeah. 
and that term deep refers to number of layers. How deep it is, how many layers are there? Now, normal machine learning, you may have maximum two, three layers. Maybe yes, it cannot manually do more than that. But in deep learning, is automatically done. You can have hundred plus or even thousand plus, depending on the application. So many layers in this that. I use enable complex and critical simulation of human nature or human body. And training data should be used to train the neural network. And values of the weights and biases are so chosen that the computed output values most closely match the known correct output values. Now I was talking about these bias and these weights. Now we should go, go on changing the weights and bias and see who, uh, on which value of B bias value and which value of weights of change so that input when you give input test value, it resembles to the actual learning. Then fix to that. The model learns to perform classification tasks directly from images, text, or sound. As we are talking about, that's how we talk something, immediately it may come. The directly uh, analyzes the sound or image or text and makes the model accordingly. Now, this modeling, this so many layering, so many handling neurons, can you imagine how much data it has to handle? Why AI took, deep learning took 2010 to start, whereas the AI started in 1980? The concept of deep learning was somehow invented there, but nobody could imagine that so much database, so much processing power we may ever have it. And in 2010 onwards only, we could boast of making those in that uh, should be help of VLSI technology. Compact, uh, I mean, huge data, yes, yes. That is called graphical processing unit. You know, central processing unit to CPU and the core of deep learning or machine learning is graphical processing unit. The graphical processing is processes any image or video and give you the right out. So till that GPU was strong, GPU was evolved, we could not do anything. Although we had the concept, we could not bring out any commercial deep learning. Maybe in experimentally, uh, many universities have done something. But uh, exactly, 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 exactly. It is like it. till that uh, GPU came. Whenever we talk about deep learning, we ask that what is the capacity of GPU? How much? What is the graphical power of that so that you can do it or not? And perceptron is a, is a perceptron. The model of this neural network model is a called perceptron model because it is a computer machine. Uh, which represents and simulate the ability of human, uh, ability of copying human brain so that we can recognize it and discriminate the different two things. That perceptron is the name of the model computer. And if there are multiple perceptron, multi model we call multi layer perceptron, MLP. And you find in modern deep learning, we have multi layer perceptron. It's a class of fit for our artificial intelligence. Feed forward means that you have seen this uh, this forwarding. You just go on feeding that forwarding. No backtracking, no uh, like this. This is uh, uh, forward. Now comes now originally we had that uh, uh, brain picture of brain. We found that outer part of brain is uh, the uh, contour neural part where the brains are there. And based on this, we found that one. Uh, some uh, uh, we call that uh, some vein is there, some link is there, which is uh, looking at the uh, um, picture part like this. In artificial so we will be having layers. One layer will be doing this job, another layer, this job, hundreds of layers may have different functions. So that when a picture of a cat comes in the input, you can say that it is a cat. The cat may be from African cat, maybe Indian cat, or from European cat, cat is cat. All types of, uh, I mean, whatever they are having, it is having. 
give photographs. Even if we don't give photographs of all, it can learn from its experience from few photographs that the variety could have been a little bit more. We have a black cat, one or a white cat, then it could imagine uh, immediately there could be a mixture of both the colors. That was the action. It will make its own program. So these type of things are done through the various layers. Hmm. So the deep neural network consists of hierarchy of layers, whereby each layer transforms the input data into more abstract representations. That is age, nose, face, etc., etc. The output layer combines those features to make the prediction. The training process, sample level data forwarded through network, get the prediction, back propagate. The progression algorithm is a supervised learning for multi-layer perception. So it is it will update the connection weights accordingly if it is not matching, change the weights, fill in matches. Now auto encoders. Uh, contain some uh, uh, networks, uh, 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 which is uh, basically uh, the, sorry. What is it consists of encoder, decoder, and two symmetric and deep belief networks. Deep belief networks. These are used to recognize clusters. And generate images, videos, sequences, and motion capture data. Okay, so there are two. One is the incoming encoding DVR encode and compress it for future vector, and they are decompressing the decoder. Encoder encoding so that the data utility is minimized. So from input is this much data, which after compress become less data, and in the decoding sector it will be again decompressing. Giving the output and forming the reproducing the uh, motion picture, image, or video, whatever. Yeah, yeah. See, memory part is one thing, and processing the memory is another thing. Graphic because in graphics we have to represent in pixel and pixel huge terabytes of data will be there. Normal uh, normal uh, data we have only uh, linear data. Okay, that ASCII code whatever linear data in two dimension it is more data. Three dimension three dimension even more data. It is colorful, even more data, even moving. It is millions of times more data. Who will process, who will be able to do that processing of data? The data enhanced data due to the graphical mode of processing is a ability for a particular processor, not the central processing. They cannot handle so much processing. Terabytes of data processing Instantly, just for example, this uh, mask, I'm having a black and white. How do you identify a black pixel? Just identify one in this position, there's a black or white. That's all. But when it becomes color, I have to give multiple layers. For each color, they have to put some code. Now it becomes movable. For every instant, I have to break that uh, pixel uh, uh, I mean, accordingly. And uh, if it is doing some action, that will be again multiplied many fold. So gradually data will be multiplied and multiplied to the, uh, I mean, uh, not, uh, I mean, linearly, exponentially multiplied. So that processing power is beyond the capacity of normal processor. So the processor which can process graphical data, that is graphical processing. Shallow encoder is used for multi I mean, bottle is the hidden layer, is there is a bottle look? So that shallow auto encoder is used. Now, the, what is the difference between deep learning and machine learning? As I mentioned, you can read it. 
बहुत मशीन लर्निंग डीप लर्निंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट और डीप लर्निंग वी फीड द रॉ इमेजेस डायरेक्टली इनटू द डीप नेटवर्क दैट लर्न्स द फीचर्स ऑटोमेटिकली डीप लर्निंग रिक्वायर्स हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ इमेजेस फॉर दिस रिजल्ट एंड इट्स कंपटीशन इंटेंसिव एंड रिक्वायर्स हाई परफॉर्मेंस जीपीएस व्हिच इज नॉट द केस सो दिस इज गुड रिजल्ट्स इन स्मॉल डेटा सेट्स मशीन इज ओके क्विक टू ट्रेन need to try different features software and accuracy is that too but after two semester it is remaining plain and no more factors but deep learning accuracy in the right so as much as we want more given software more measures and very large data set can be handled and competitionally very intensive competition and automatically it learns the features and software aap jitna bhi dalte jao photo better more photographs more features you give that is cat if you want to uh, get the accuracy you uh, all types of cat available in the world give a photograph you have is not required still deep learning machine learning the same thing i am uh, trying to answer here in mail case of machine learning that if this is machine learning in case of you put an image you give the feature of this uh, image to the extract the features give it to the machine it will make a program automatically to understand like this image has uh, years tail like this what are the images you see it will collecting and based on the collection it will learn that all features in the learning model will be like this and according to learning when some input is coming it will predict the object suppose if there is a dog and cat coming it will be able to distinguish whether it's dog and cat but in deep learning don't do this just give it a picture of thing it will change itself and give you that dog and cat no need of giving its feature what is the size of the tail what is the complexion no need just give the picture of all animals it also will auto train itself do that now you may have some uh, horizontal question what is data science data analytics artificial intelligence all are related to find confusion yes there is confusion i have tried to move the confusion data science is a broad area the anything we handle with data is data science okay so for handling data for extracting data you need sometimes artificial intelligence Or deep learning. So, you the data science sometimes a data scientist take the help of other individuals to solve their problems. They have some problem which cannot be solved otherwise. Normally, they use the statistical method. If they fail to use the statistical method, they don't give results. They take help the uh, AI, deep learning model. Because AI implements the predictive model and for for forecasting future events, which is not possible otherwise. And data scientists are the expert professionals who bank on computer science statistics and also write topics such as machine learning and data analysis. They establish solutions of questions that are not yet discovered. Now this is a data science and data science, but what about data analytics? We have heard lot of things in data analytics. Data analytics is not concerned with AI. This AI, data scientist, without AI, that means they analytically they try to find what is me analytically. They use statistical division also. So comes under the purview of the data science. It processes and performs statistical analysis on the existing data sets of data. So it is not about finding questions. But finding answers and gaining insights for problems that we know, whatever you know, they gain deep insight through this kind of thing. Another area that is the data analytics job. And data analytics deals with finding patterns based on past data. They try to find a pattern or predict future events using statistical methods. While AI involves data analysis, 
making assumptions and automate the process by giving machines human intelligence to make predictions that are beyond human capabilities. So which is what is there within human capabilities that is done by data analytics, which is beyond the human capabilities that is done by yeah. And they use mostly data analytics. Yeah. Yes, many things you can do, but we cannot put any automatic intelligence. That means uh, you have given even parameter, it cannot uh, 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 guess because no intelligence to get this. Only 10 parameters work on those 10 parameters, like machine learning. But is this learning it can? It can automatically. So, data science, data analysis, AI, you can see. Similarly, I have machine learning, data analysis, and data science. We can go through this. I think uh, already I have explained this. Same thing I have uh, read it, I think. Is okay? You know, formally I have written. Now coming to the language part. List processing a list is 1958. That means it is second oldest high level language after Fortran. We, when we started our career with learning computer programming, at that time Fortran 4 was the hottest topic. Fortran 2 to Fortran 4 was the transition period. Now, then Pascal, basically all this came. But list is the second oldest for this processing because we have to procedural, make some procedure. Uh, so this was used for this artificial intelligence process. And later on, prologue. It is from programming logic, a logic based program. This logic is very important to false. And uh, I'll be talking more about this. Clause in 1988, common li uh, uh, list or object language. Nowadays, the programming languages are no more uh, confined with those uh, high level languages like these products. Simply anybody using Python, R, Ada, C, anything you give, just write the model. Only they call library function and do the program. Now, I have given some uh, history of this. Now, this uh, has the one language, 1950 born, but it is still running on being used in AI. How? Because it is changing itself on. Changing itself continuously. The first change it made that list was common list CL language in the 80s. When they found a lot of uh, new things are coming, the normal uh, list person is not there. I have to put something. I did not include those slides in details because it will be too long. I had all the slides, how the you know, generation of this person never. But the common list CL has been started using in other languages. And deep learning libraries mostly coded in C, Python, C, or sometimes OpenCL or CUDA for GPU uh, computing parts. And artificial intelligence is definitely a wide field and goes beyond machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, etc. So the programming language doesn't matter at all except for speed issue. So this would certainly not be a topic here. This is important whether you are able to do something or not, and you can use anything at high level. Prolog also is a programming logic, is a high level language, uh, is a non procedural, this is not procedural, primarily a declarative language, it gives the statement. The programmer specifies what goals are to be accomplished. In prolog, logic is expressed as relations called facts and rules. Given facts and rules, when uh, that first time artery, artery intelligence was, I remember during my study here, there is only a single book of artery intelligence by Nelson. I don't know. Uh, there is no Indian edition. There is no consular Indian edition book that time. All foreign books were only, <laughs> means foreign book, printed in other countries. Very costly book it was, used to get uh, photocopied. So that was giving that was using that uh, prologue or this something, nothing non-pure. 
application include natural language understanding and expert system like mysim mysim is an expert system what do you mean by natural language natural language is english hindi yeah again okay namo namo highest level language the what are the tools I have given the name of the some of the machine learning tools. Nine, according to see, any deep learning tool is also a machine learning tool. But some tools are not used in deep learning, exclusively for machine learning. These are the but but nine is very popular. It's all open source, and uh, these are the logos of those deep learning uh, some of the deep learning tools. TensorFlow is very important from Google, uh, mostly used. Uh, TensorFlow is a very important. Tensor means the data represent the how we represent data in artificial intelligence. That is called tensor. And flow means in the procedure. What we do, TensorFlow, we we have one the, uh, database of data sets and transform the data sets into a, some procedure algorithm. That tensor is transformed into flow. That is tensor. Torch, PyTorch, etc. Python based torch, all important. I've given deep learning tools. Uh, I've given a cafe. All are, in, are used. Uh, you can have a look. If you want, you can search net and you will find details of all this learning. How you can learn these things using these tools. Now coming to machine learning software tools are like uh, tool tool is something else and software is uh, this and somewhere uh, there is a margin some tools can be used as software. Now these these are uh, open source mostly but, and uh, these how best they are in what to, uh, quality they are chosen that also has reason is like. This is not my. I have cut net and from net whatever I got. I have not watched with any of this. Just from network, many multiple. Uh, I mean, uh, papers I have assembled and found that these are the common things. So I have deep learning software. Same thing. Now take away finally uh, before. I mean, I mean the application. The two part application. Application I will quickly. Uh, talk about uh, because uh, if we already want ten, uh, I was not having any control on my flow. Uh, traditional programming. This slide will be clear, make you clear about what you had your idea about the artificial before entering the class and after you leave the class. This will be the takeaway. That in normal programming, you put data and program in the computer and computer give them output. See. But in machine learning, you give the data for training, and what is required is output. And computer will give you a program. Output is a program. <laughs> and in deep learning, just statistical matrix multiplication is done in a black box in the computer. But extremely effective at learning patterns. You just give the goal what you want. Photograph all the animals. Goal one. It will create the program on the other. This is the takeaway of the entire class. The last two hours, I was talking about what this is the gist of. This is so-called tough subject, very hard to difficult to understand, very difficult to get the concept. I tried to explain in my own way to. Uh, reach nearest to you. 
So I use all the terminologies, languages, uh, as simple as possible. Hmm. Oh, no, it will go on and up. You make a program. The program will automatically, it is for my case, it, when it comes to Anupam Das, then it is simple. Any person, it will take, suppose it, it wants to uh, do something on my day, it will ask about me, the training. When it will be uh, doing something, what it will ask some details about you. No, this is multiple brains. No, it is actually total. It is, a, it is a total utility. It will make it is having the capability of making a program itself depending on the. Uh, it has a brain like thing inside which will convert the inputs into the uh, goals into a program. When the programs are run, you will get the output, They're not that AI is. You run the programs, you will get the goal. Then application, uh, too many applications. Three limited uh, buildings such as uh, uh, computing power, evaluate data, and imagination. These are three components required. Without imagination, you cannot do. Very important thing. Psychology part. <coughs> More than uh, often, the latter is hardest to do. ये होगा ये हमको समझ में नहीं आते हो सकता है. But you have to make it sure that it will happen. It has to happen. Generally, you can use that AI for a particular. This is Google's Go playing is an artificial intelligence still undefeated with victory over world champion number one. Kaspar ko hara diya. Nobody can beat that uh, Google's Go playing uh, that artificial. Still, it remain unbeaten. Since you score more than you score, brain you have to lay here already. This is intelligent room. Actually, these slides, uh, uh, this last now one of the slides, I prepared from some other lectures long back. Before that, I totally all slides are made in a few days. But these are actually uh, so the application uh, part is concerned. I delivered lectures few years back on this application part. So from there, even I have not seen what it had content. I simply taken that. Virtual space for intelligent interaction. That is now it is very relevant. That time there was no COVID, but now it is very relevant in COVID. When I prepared that time in 2017, I, I, perhaps early 2017, I delivered the lecture. That time no case of COVID, but in April, when you don't need to go to physical presence, you can virtually do that. That means virtually, suppose uh, there would be virtual, uh, I mean, uh, three dimensional view of you all present here. You are sitting in home, but your, uh, I mean, replica, replica will be sitting in the benches. My uh, feeling and giving lecture will be different. That is the ideal thing. That's the future intelligent room. Uh, and a lot of things I, I, I don't want to explain all the things. That is a different issue. It's a, a intelligent campus like this. Data analytics and analysis using AI, then autonomous rovers, these are all applications. Autonomous, autonomous vehicle control, very self die cars. One thing is we don't allow any drivers to uh, run any vehicle. If 100% vehicles in a country, are made automated using AI. Then what will happen? What will outcome? Most significant outcome. Any other? All are correct. I'm not wrong. Any, any? Can you imagine if all vehicles are made automatic? What will happen? Huh? 
Okay, you are all right. Okay, anything else? Anything else? I'll point, make only one point. Nowadays, millions of people die in road accident daily. There will be no zero dead death accidents. Death accident, road accident. No accident at all. Zero road accident. If all the vehicles are made uh, AI enabled, driverless, it is impossible to make any uh, road accident. No question. Because it is sensing everything in all environment. It can know where to stop, where to stop. No question. And uh, we, our brain is not so much active. We think uh, in a lightning way where something is coming. But it can think much higher. A computer can think of. If we want to make our world accident-free and get rid of millions of deaths every year because of accident, what is the way out? Make, apply AI in cars and make the cars die less. But all, if you make a single because of that person's fault, may jeopardize everything. Hey, this is a hypothetical. This is a hypothetical. Hypothetical. Uh, we, we believe in imagination. I talked about imagination. So if that would be, see what if I am imagining in this class. After say 50 years, it could be reality. Or 20 years, it could be reality. I will not there that time. But those next generation who will be, uh, say, I would see that of like no that is because the purpose all vehicles are not made AI in other so all are minimal it will change that uh, road condition according to that action will not run up No, that is it. See, one application is uh, pedestrian detection. Okay. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. So, I'll have the end I'll talk about. But this is a philosophical question. More philosophical. This is, uh, I mean, uh, how it is progressing that Daniel Les Autonomous games, chairs, robotic toys, agriculture, service. Actually, I had given lecture on all the agriculture application, all these things. Here, I am not going all just uh, very important application is the medication and healthcare. Most people, surgery, the surgical things which is not uh, the, within the capacity of the surgeons going inside uh, surgery, surgery of any uh, typical critical tissue, very difficult. Image guided surgery. More applications with this is a robot helping a disabled person by informatics, text classification, document, video image classification, etc. The individual level, lot of contributions. I'm skipping this. Same time, the organizations, as I told, that this is for different presentation. So this is for organization how they will get to the society, how society will get uh, benefited to the AI boost like this. Uh, but the last line is very important. Artificial intelligence can be both a blessing and a cut. Not that everything. The negative side. The automation putting us all of work. One, the one insurance company known as uh, Fukoku uh, uh, Mutual Fund in Japan. In 2017, January, you can see the Google also. I last yesterday night, I have seen the Google. They have, they uh, just to save money, they save 140 million yen by applying at AI in their system and they sacked 34 officers. 
by sacking 30 officers, they saved 140 million yen. So one negative trait is that definitely it it away jobs jobs. Man will be working for robots. If so, it is very dangerous. The robot becomes the boss. This is it. As prices continue to drop for advanced technology, the machine cost may become lesser than human done. Local lakhness is jadna kharcha ho jaye. Hamar robot lakhness se agar kharcha kam ho jata, human local lakhness robot ke lag denge. More faithful. Loss of human control of our lives. Robots that surpass human in strength, speed, unko strength bhi jada hai. Speed bhi jada hai. Agility, endurance, decision making, intelligence, sab kuch jada hai. When uh, society has become too dependent on technology, human begin to lose the skill that technology has replaced. Ah, uh, everybody knows everything. The drones are watching. Robot emotion, emotion, will they have empathy? What is empathy? आपको मालूम है what is empathy? क्या? हाँ? हाँ yes. Exactly. Unless I have feeling for others, like किसी को दुख में हमको भी दुख लगना है, किसी को सुख में हमको भी अच्छा लगना है, this is empathy. लेकिन रोबोट का इमोशन होगा अगर रेमंड के इम्पैक्ट होगा मेरा मेरा को अगर गोली मार देगा लोग मेरा क्या दुख होगा उसको समझ नहीं उसको काम है गोली मारने का ऑर्डर था गोली मार देगा बट इफ इज ह्यूमन बीइंग देयर मे थॉट दैट शुड आई शूट इट मे बी समबडी इज ऑर्डर इन इज इट एथिकल फॉर मी टू शूट सो दैट इमोशंस मे नॉट कंटेन नाइस Will goal-seeking intelligent machines seek the same goals as they do? Will their goals evolve in a negative direction? Very important question. We all as uh, human beings, grown up from our families, few of us become genius. They are doing lot of research. They maybe some of doing mankind, but still there are some. They are having too much. Uh, Good brain, but they are putting human brain. Like you say, Harshad me in a that scam case. He was the most uh, knowledgeable person in share market. He utilized for something bad person. So whether that when we are making intelligent, when they become too intelligent, the robot, they may have a choice on their own. They can because they can put them on themselves. They can program to go in negative way or positive way. Two directions. If they goes in a negative direction, just say social and the social side. If they can become the social, then the sub log will kill them. So, see, for example, hello, sir. The judgment is to have. Suppose a car is, a, I mean, this is an old. A, a, So now I think the problem is answered. So you have an autonomous car, and you have the options. Either protect the car is a machine; it has a lot of intelligence. Intelligence is thinking. Whether protect my service car, car, अपने को protect करना है, ना protect the industry and जो रास्ता में उसको protect करना है, or protect my passengers. Who will get the priority? I can protect only one. This is a difficult to solve. Because the common interest is first, we have to put it ourselves. So if it is robot made, robot autonomous car, robot will try to put it inside the machine itself. Not feel the pedestrian, yeah, not feel the passenger. This could be policy. So some questions are like this. This I have taken the reference I have given. Where did it come from? Autonomous vehicle, killer robots. Militarization robots that that uh, super powers they are working for this. Uh, I don't see Hollywood movies now because of this. I don't like that fighting thing in India. Yeah, more than sixteen thousand AI researchers have signed an open letter to the United Nations urging government leaders to take action against the creation of semi-autonomous and autonomous weapons. Very dangerous. 
Japan unclear whether the human comes into the decision process of targeting and firing intelligent people. Starting a, a military AI arms race would be prevented by a ban on offensive autonomous weapons beyond meaningful human control. If the robots have full power to think as human, even as of anti-social elements, in future we may see a large number of robots marching into our house, destroying our everything we own and looting us. So we should think try actually th hoga. Typing is try before giving cognitive power to the robots. Cognitive means that the brain power, yeah, cognitive power. Oh, the maker. That is three times you have to think, not twice. Yeah. Uh, the situation now. Now the robots, a photograph uh, is uh, kept as a guard. To protect me and accept of my car or anything. And if it's bigger, it will be a gun, then it will be a gun. Instead of uh, the firing to the miscreants, it will fire to me. Who will control them? Artificial, that is my answer. Artificial intelligence has massive potential advantage. The key for humans, however, will be to use their own judgment we apply it productively and ensure the rise of robots doesn't get out of our hands. Our hearts are thrown Somewhere we should keep the um, control remote on the not. They cannot supersede us. They should remain safe to us, not they can make us safe. But whether it is possible or not, that is out. They spoke them. Now I had given a lecture on this. Uh, I had just put two slides on this. So what is the international goal? United Nations had, uh, had a goal uh, between 2016 to uh, 2030. They have uh, 70 sustainable development goals for application of AI artificial intelligence worldwide. In 17 sectors, one is to eradicate poverty. No poverty is there. Zero hunger, nobody will die of hunger. Good health and well being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduce inequalities between the poor and non poor riches. Sustainable cities and communities. Cities may remain cities. Then responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, that comes to protect the, uh, those who are living beyond water, like fish, etc. Life on land, peace, justice, and strong institutions, and finally, partnerships for the goals. This is the United Nations Development Agenda, and all, including India, they have taken projects to implement by 2030. And it's all who are ruling us, the big powers? They don't want us to dictate what will happen in the armament. Only the good things are coming. Okay, education is good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, but don't talk about our, this is our secret thing, what armament will do. They're not allowed. You know, but, and these seven things, they, they are interlinked. Actually, each 17 cases, I had presentation for all seven cases. That I have not listed on the slides. But it shows that, that uh, each goal is important itself, and they are all connected. All goals are connected to itself. Gender equality is possible when there is a human equality. 
तो ऐसा है तो माय आई थिंक माय लाइफ लास्ट साइड इज फ्यूचर ऑफ हेल्थ इट हैज इंक्रीज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन रीजनिंग एंड मेथड ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस एंड आफ्टर कल रात में इसको लिखा है इट हैज ओपन अप द डोर फॉर एप्लीकेशंस इन ऑलमोस्ट एनी फील्ड and solving the complexity of modeling human reasoning in challenging applications for the future even then the future of ai is indeed not clear we don't know the future why because the researchers seem to disagree on lot of issues they say but i this argument was one of the issues they <laughs> don't agree to all the issues this is why we don't know what will happen in future. but we are always optimistic at least i am as optimistic and since the pace at which technology is advancing my logical belief is that that ai will continue to get more and more sophisticated uh, algorithms to solve extremely complex problems which are beyond our thinking now it is maybe they is not far from when we we just sit back in our cozy bed and enjoy the technology of ai by having our personal robot as perfect companion who would entirely do our jobs flawlessly and just in verbal comments lekin ulta ho jayega to theek nahi hoga ab to kya hai so this is uh, i and any question i end up thank you so much sir so thank you to